against Quincy in the exhibition. What do you look for tonight in the season opener? Well, we talked about it, Sam, in the open. This is a season about development for Northwestern. What you want to see tonight, an extension of what we saw in the exhibition, up-tempo offense. This team play with a swagger, a confidence, and step one begins here tonight. We're underway. A new season of Northwestern men's basketball here on BTN Plus, and this is Pat Spencer at the top of the key making the start at point guard. Miller, cop, corner three, no good, but he was fouled, and he'll have three free throws 16 seconds in to the season. And Miller, cop, as we take a look at the starting lineup, certainly a key for Northwestern, sophomore out of Houston, a four-star recruit. We've talked a lot about the youth on this team. But there's a lot of talent in this group. Three four-star recruits, including Miller Kopp. Kopp, a 70% free throw shooter last year, knocked down the first points of this new campaign for Northwestern. Kopp, one of the sophomores for the Cats who got some run last year. Averaging just a shade under five points per game, and he goes three for three from the charity strike. And Kopp had a really strong finish to the season last year. Nine points a game in the final five games of the year, so he's somebody who could take a big step forward in his sophomore campaign. This Merrimack program led by Joe Gallo, fourth-year head coach, and the Warriors making their Division I debut season the men's soccer team already won their conference championship, the regular season championship, that is, as Idris Joyner misses a three, and here go the Cats pushing the tempo the other way. We know this will be an emphasis for Chris Collins, especially against a team in Merrimack that goes with the 2-3 zone, and that's what we're seeing to open up. Coach wants his team to push the ball. Chris passing always key against the zone. And how about Miller Kopp scoring the first five points of the Great ball, ball game. movement by Northwestern. Miller Kopp off to a good start. And you're right, Chris Collins has talked a lot about this in the preseason. They want to play up tempo. Northwestern was last in the Big Ten in points per game and field goal percentage last year. That's got to change here in 2019-2020. He wants to play fast. Devin Jensen misses a three from the corner. Cats on the defensive glass. And here's Spencer up the court. Pete Spencer, the 2019 Tawaratan Award winner as the best lacrosse player in the country. Cop for three, no good. He was fouled again, and for the second time in less than two minutes, Miller Cop with three chances from the free throw line. Ziggy Reed whistled for the foul. Well, these are mistakes for Mary Mack, a new D1 team. On the road in the Big Ten, you cannot make mistakes like that and fouls like that. And the first two minutes, already two fouls on a couple of three-pointers. And those are gifts for Northwestern, already out to a 6 nothing lead. Miller Kopp with all of those points. Now a seven-point lead for Northwestern. So Merrimack played in the New England 10 conference last year. As Kopp knocks down another free throw. At the Division II level, they were conference champions in their final year in the conference, and now they're moving to the New England Conference. So some other familiar faces, maybe, if you're a Northwestern fan in that conference. Bryant, Central Connecticut State, Fairleigh Dickinson, yeah. Robert Morris, those are some of the programs. Northwestern is a combined 11-0 against the NEC, and now they have a chance to make it 12-0, maybe. You mentioned the success of Merrimack's soccer program as Gaines pulls down the rebound. Their women's basketball team, their D1 debut at UMass, a win. So Merrimack, brand new D1 school. They are playing very well in their early D1 existence. And they're killing it so far as Nance pulls the trigger and comes up empty on a mid-range shot. Javaris Hayes with the rebound. Folks, keep an eye on number zero for Merrimack tonight. That's their point guard, one of their three senior leaders, Javaris Hayes. He's got the ball at the left wing, defended by Anthony Gaines. Another corner three for Jensen. In and out, Nance the board, and here's Davidson. In the corner, Cop. Another foul on Merrimack. That's Ziggy Reed again, whistled for the foul. Reed, number 23 there, one of the freshmen. 
These two programs, Sam, very different in their makeup as teams. Northwestern, eight of the 15 guys in the program are brand new to Evanston, including the guy with the ball, Pat Spencer. For Merrimack, they return a ton. Four out of their five starting, four, four returning starters from last year, including their top three scorers. This is a really experienced team, and that helps going D2 to D1 as Devin Jensen, the junior, knocks down a three. And you mentioned Javaris Says earlier, D2 All-American last year. He's a senior, so you're right, a lot of good experience in this group. Spencer Floater in and out, tapped around, and here's Hayes swooping in for the rebound. And the point guard, just six feet tall, but he was the team's leading rebounder last year, just a shade under seven boards a game. Jensen again, this time the Devin top Jensen. of the key. And Devin Jensen, happy trigger early on. Out of bounds, Northwestern ball. Northwestern will keep the ball here. Wildcats got off to that early 8-0 run. And now Merrimack making a run. And top of the key, Jensen, confident stroke as he's knocked down a couple. Joe Gallo, the fourth-year coach for Merrimack, said no one in the program improved more from last year to this year than that man, Devin Jensen. He's got two early buckets as Northwestern now tries and cuts through the zone. It's cop outside, back to Spencer. 15 on the shot clock for Northwestern. Gaines a floater. He's fouled. And Anthony Gaines will have chances from the free throw line. And you mentioned Pat Spencer, the 2019 Man, towards 20. off. On Jordan award Miner, winner, one of the best the lacrosse team. players in the country, finds Gaines, who will go to the line for the two. Line and I think it says two a shots. lot about Pat Spencer that, number one, Chris Collins inserted him into the starting lineup here tonight in the season opener. He played really well in the exhibition a week ago, and he's also played well in practice. Chris Collins was very adamant when he spoke to the media about saying, Pat Spencer, it's no gimmick. He can really play, and I know Pat Spencer wants to prove that as well, that he belongs on the court in the Big Ten. And Pat said just as much, kind of echoing the sentiment of Chris Collins. He said, I don't think people understand. I can actually play basketball. People see me and say, yeah. oh, he's just a good athlete moving from lacrosse to basketball, but... They haven't actually seen me play, and little by little, as the season goes on, they will see him. Out of bounds. The athleticism, the vision. Merrimack ball. And he's talked a lot about Michael the Derrick. similarities between lacrosse and basketball, the cutting, the spacing, the athleticism. We saw in the exhibition last week, he really showed an ability to get up and down the floor, that athleticism, that vision, all coming together on the basketball court. Outside, here's Hayes. Gaines defending him, and Gaines said all year long, he's going to defend the best player on the team, and in this case, that's Hayes. Jordan but how Minor. about Jordan Minor muscling his way to a two-pointer? Good defense that time inside by Ryan Young. Minor just a little bit better. Back to Pat Spencer. His dad, Bruce, said... Field vision, court vision, whatever bounds. sport it is, that's always been a strange. All the way back, back first. to There's when he was a peewee football quarterback.